Hello and welcome to Magsy's Fun Time. This is Magsy and we are back here on my 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 page of my window <laughs> of my monitor. <laughs> this is the Steam Summer Sale. I wanted to go over this. I have a guy that I watch that I love to watch and he did a Steam Summer Sale little tips guide kind of cheaty thing. And I'm not I'm not going to well it's it's kind of I don't I don't consider it cheating. It's mods that you guys probably already use anyway. But I'm going to give you my take on the best way to earn points in the Steam Summer Sale. We're going to go over what the Steam Summer Sale is. All right. So if from the last sale, the Lunar Event or whatever it was, till now, if you bought any games, you got a maximum of points. When you first go to your Steam page, um, you'll see this thing up here. You'll notice that it started on the 25th. It's only got five more days left on it. Uh, so you click on this. It takes you to the Grand Prix. This is the Steam Grand Prix. And the guy that I watch <laughs> is part of the Corgis. All right. As you can see, they've been using their <laughs> they've been using it, their little tip to uh, get massive amounts of points for their team or speed boost, speed boost. And uh, I am a poor man and I can't buy bunches and bunches of games on Steam. So just, you know, I get a game on my birthday, get a game for Christmas, that kind of thing. But $20 here or there. So I don't have massive amounts. Uh, you will have to actually go all the way down. And he, this is the Grand Prix Quest, all right? And there, there's, there's games that you own. There's games that are participating here. You can look through those. And uh, then uh, games from achievements, which you can actually get your points from 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 the achievements from that game and you you get you just click on here I've maxed mine out so I can't get no more from that but uh there, there's a little thing here about how it works and the max works and there's a little um qualifier task that'll get you an extra 50 max points but this is not what I'm going to go over I'm going to go over the quest here now I've looked through all these and the easiest one I'm going to leave a link down below. I don't want to go over overdo his video. So I'm going to leave the link down below to uh, the Spiffing Brits video. You guys can go watch that if you want to do that one. His involves Starbound. And I will show you if it's still on here. Here it is. Starbound has a quest for drinking sodas. And he's got a little tip for that one. You get 10 points per thing. All right. So, but that's not the best way. People were doing that because of the video he did, but that's not the best way to earn points. If we go over to Stardew Valley here, they have three on here that are really, really good. All right. Now, if you are a fisherman catching fish, probably going to be a way to go, especially if you're in-game. you got an in-game account, you just jump on and catch fish. You have to play for 30 minutes in the game. You can't just jump in and do 10 minutes worth of stuff. You have to play for 30 minutes, so you're going to be doing it for 30 minutes at a time at least. So, so just so you know that 30 minutes and if you if you scroll down here where's it where's it play any game for 30 minutes or more during the Grand Prix to earn points all right all right so, so you know that so uh, the two that I'm gonna concentrate for you is harvest crops and kill monsters and I've got two really good tips for this just to let you guys know it's actually three kind of uh, and it's going to involve you using mods, all right? So also in the description down below, I will link the actual Stardew Valley mod uh, setup page if you're not using the um, modded uh, Stardew Valley st stuff. And if you launch, once you download it and install it, if you launch the game Stardew Valley from the Steam launcher, it will not disable your achievements, all right? And, th and, th and that means that you can still do these quests all right so and you'll need two mods for this you'll need the tractor mod and you'll need the cheat menu or yeah the cheat menu all right those are the two mods you'll need they will be on the actual page there's a whole list of that's that's compatible with the newest version of stardew valley and you can look on there and there's links to the actual um site to go download those from and uh, I haven't had any problems from from the Stardew Valley Wiki or downloading those mods from from I believe it's Mod Hub. 
I don't remember. All right, but the links are, are links are actually on the page. You just you you bring up the list of actual compatible mods, and then there'll be a link on the actual page to send you to where you need to go to download it. So there was a so the two we're going to concentrate on is harvest crop and kill monsters. All right. So I've actually been playing. I started a whole new game here. I got it frozen on day five. Your objective in game is to get to summer. All right and or have a greenhouse all right remember summer have a greenhouse all right so if you're going to start a new game just just for the this i named mine the, the summer cell farm summer is my name and the cell farm and <laughs> i put races as my favorite thing so <laughs> just to, just to be goofing off um if you want to if you want to plant crap tons of crops all right Make sure that you go into your mod settings for your tractor and set it to uh, buy for a thousand gold. Otherwise, otherwise you're gonna have to get the resources together to get the tractor mod. You want the tractor mod on the first day, all right? So you get a thousand gold, go get the tractor the first day. That'll allow you to clear your farm up pretty good, and then you can plant and harvest and water with your tractor, which is imperative for this one, all right? So. Um, the other one you want to have is the CBJ cheats window, all right? And you want that. I always always play with Max Daily Luck on, just because I hate having to worry about luck. Um, you don't have. It doesn't matter. Like the amount of crops you don't get doesn't matter. Just harvesting the crops in general gets you the points for the steam sale uh, race points, all right? And um. You also want to go to time, and you want time to freeze inside inside caves. You want to turn that one on. The time to freeze inside, in general, I think works with the mines. All right. So when you go to the mines, if you go inside the mines, you want to make sure time's freezing. Otherwise, you can come in here and do that. One. All right. So those are the two you need. I also went ahead and used the. Uh, item spawning mod to give myself some uh, iridium tools so that's up to you if you don't you don't have to do that if you don't want to you don't use energy while you're doing stuff on the tractor and we don't even have to worry about that let's go out here and i have some that's already ready oh, this one and you can't skip this one either so if you got it if you got an in game if you haven't played it in a while, you've got one that's in like year 500 or something. You can jump on there and just, if you've got one that's already got crops on it, go ahead and harvest those. Um, yes. Uh, let's see. Bobo. That's fine. Yeah. I don't care. This, this thing is getting deleted anyway once I'm done with it. <laughs> Alright. So I do have a couple more mods. I have the leveling mod up here that shows you how many actual the XP you actually have and we have something in the mail here don't care that means the mines are open so what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump on to our tractor here and they fixed in this patch for you guys that haven't played in a while they fixed in this patch you do still gain experience so watch up here you still do gain you gain experience now from using harvesting with the sickle so you equip your sickle And there you go. And uh, we're going to take those. Here we're going to go go into town, and we're going to actually buy a crap ton more seeds, and we're going to plant those. Our objective is to get to summer. Um, and I'm going to explain to you how to set this up. All right, just so you so we're clear on this. Now, d don't forget, any time, no matter where you're at, you can hit backspace and summon your tractor to you. All right, it's part of the mod in case it glitches and disappears on you. So, oh, well, that's not available yet. Let's goof off for something. Let's see here. We'll do some of this. And of course, my dog's gonna start barking. Where did I get it? Fried egg. I don't remember a fried egg. 
We can do this down here. I love doing this. Uh, let's hit backspace. Jump on your tractor. <laughs> you can also harvest stuff with the tractor out here. So if I switch that back to one, I get close enough to these, it'll automatically harvest them, and then we can switch back to our thing. And the reason why I do this is because I can. you can sell the clay if you're not going to use it. You only want clay for one thing, and as you can see, using the tractor, you can get clay anytime you want to. So, you don't have to worry about that. Alright, so, that's 9 o'clock. Now the tractor's kind of like a horse. That's why you hit the you get the horse uh, sound effect on it. And uh, we're gonna come up to here. We're gonna go and sell all of our stuff back to our boy here. And then we're gonna buy as many parsnips as we can. And the reason why we're doing this is because these grow the fastest at the start here and we just want to grow and harvest as many crops as possible till summer all right let's go back to home and I'll go get these planted I want to keep this video kind of short so you guys won't get bored of it so There we go. Come on. <laughs> there we go. Now, we probably won't need all this space here. All right, so. And then, oh, that was so awesome. We're done. Then we can water using the tractor. And it's that simple. All right? Now, once you get to summer, and if you're, if you're doing a fresh playthrough, you should have enough money to unlock your greenhouse. Make sure you unlock your greenhouse. All right? Make sure you unlock your greenhouse, all right? And what you're going to do is once you unlock your greenhouse, you're going to put hops in here, all right? Make sure that you can actually access all your hops, all right, so that you can harvest them. And then in summer, you're going to plant as many as you can possibly. Like, I've had, I have my uh, tractor's uh, range adjusted, so whatever your tractor's uh, range is on there make sure that you can harvest on your tractor just want to leave space enough for your tractor to go down up and down the rows and plant as many hops as you can now now hops for those of you don't know hops once they fully grow I believe we can actually I can actually show you this nope 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 I we can go to hops here hops it takes 11 days to grow but once they're fully grow, you can harvest them every single day. So one, if you put them in your greenhouse, you're going to be able to harvest them every day. If if you do it in summer, by the 12th day of summer, you're going to be harvesting every day. So you can wake up, harvest your field, water your field, harvest and water your greenhouse, go back to bed. All right. Now, you can plant over 3,000 crops on your field. This is the default map. You can plant over 3,000 crops on your field, plus that, that's harvesting 3,000 crops, all right, every day during your summer. And then the greenhouse, you're going to be able to do it every day, and you basically just harvest your greenhouse, you can go back to bed, harvest your greenhouse, go back to bed, make sure you play for 30 minutes. That's it, all right? And uh, play for 30 minutes, log out, go check your points, all right? Now, the other thing I want to show you guys real quick, we're going to open our P menu, and we're going to go ahead and warp to the mines. Let's go to the carpenters. That'll be close enough. There we go. 
Nope, I gotta go back home. Shoot. I'll just, I'll just summon one in. Hold on. Where's my lava katana? Hold on. Lava. My favorite weapon. There we go. Now, for the killing mobs, it's even easier. Alright? And... Did it, did it. So as you can see, when we're in here, time is frozen, all right? If we go to our P window mirror here and go to time, just the inside will work, all right? And oh, shoot, you know, I forgot my pick too. Dang it. Pick. There we go. You know what? You know what would be better than this? Since this is just a crap game. Hold on. That trash. There we go. Now, on games where you actually already got areas unlocked, we need to open you again. There we go. Uh, you can just go down to a level that has mobs on it. Sadly, the game is being derpy. So, I'm not interested in the actual ores and stuff. So. There's a mob. And then you come in here and just kill the mobs. And then whenever you get stuck on the floor, I then start taking stuff out. Yeah. Now, you do not need the item spawning mod in order to do this. And most of us already have, like, games where we can just go here and we've got everything unlocked all right but as long as you stay in here oh down here it's not it's not down here hmm let's make sure that time is frozen here there we go all right so now time's frozen make sure it says time frozen all right and you stay in here as long as you want you can come in here do your 30 minutes killing mobs and then once you're done, all right, once you're done killing mobs, you can you can take that if you've got that available. And then you just come and go home. And I'm, I'm using warps just because it's easier and faster for the video. I don't have to walk all the way. Just come on, go ahead and come home. Go in here and go ahead and go to bed. So you save it. We have major farm level ups. <laughs> and there we go. And then I'm going to go ahead and log out of this. And then we will let let uh, Stardew Valley sink there. And then you want to go back to your page here. And you should see this numbers adjusted. Oh, you can you can get it for four inch atoms too. Hmm, that's not working. Oh yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. <laughs> so now it may it may not work with the sickle. If not, you might have to harvest your crops manually, which kind of sucks. In that case, go ahead and do the kill monsters. This will update soon, because because I did play for thirty minutes. Um. Yeah, so, but when that updates, if it, we can, we can, let's see if we close it out and then reopen it, if that will help. Uh, maybe, maybe not do that. Yeah.
Also, also, me and my son are in Team Tortoise, just so you guys know, if you want to join one. If you want to join one, I, I can't tell you not to join the Corgis, because so, they're they're just beating the snot out of everybody else because of the Stardew Valley. I mean, the, the Starbound uh, little glitch thing <laughs> that he's got going on over there. And I wonder why they didn't update. Sometimes it takes a while to update, so we'll see. It, I did have to let my game set for a while, so it may have counted me as a way. I don't know. But anyway, try that out. See if it works for you. Let me know in the comments down below. Also, I will leave a link to the Stardew Valley thing. Uh, for the Stardew Valley, not Stardew Valley, the Starbound glitch, you need to download a soda mod. And it's in his video, so I'll leave the link to his video down there also. Um, and uh, the rewards for this game is to, if we go down, where are you at? There it is. Anyway, the, the the top teams for each race. Uh, the top three teams from each race will have games given to them randomly. I can't find where that's at. These are the races. There we go. So... The last race was day six, and as you can see, it was Corgi, Tortoise, and Hare. And these were the popular choices. Now, you, the, the free game, it's only a chance to win the free game. Not everybody gets one, and that is based off your wish list. So make sure you got games on your wish list, and it's in it's in your ranked order. Also, it says it chooses from your ranked order, so make sure you got the games that you could possibly want to win. Make sure you got those at the top, all right? And uh, if any one of these other ones on here you think might be better f choice for a uh, quest that you can complete in the game uh, make sure that you leave them in the comments down below I am going to play a little bit of Stardew Valley do the crop thing on there and um, uh, I'll update you in the description down below not the description but in comments down below if if I can get this to update so uh, sometimes it takes a while and uh, you got to make sure that you're actually playing for 30 minutes at a time, all right? <clears throat> anyway, guys, if you like this video, make sure you smack that like button. If you subscribe to my channel, I'll see you notifications when I have new videos out. You guys can come check it out, see if you like it. If you do like this episode, share it. You want to share it with your friends, tell them what you like it. There's a share tab down below. Click on the share tab, copy the link, post it on your Facebook, Twitter, wherever you do social media. If you have any tips, tricks, or comments, put it down in the comments down below. Don't forget to start. Don't forget to follow me on my social media pages. Don't forget to set your notification settings from my, my channel using the notification bell. There is one more thing here under the pit stop. If you click pit stop once you've boosted your guy and got the tokens, you can come over here and your tokens you can save up and then you can either level up your, your badge. It'll cost you 100 to start out with with the badge and then you can level that up and this will give you direct levels onto your actual level of your actual profile. And, or you can redeem 15,000 tokens for a $5 discount in the store. So, uh, make sure you're sharing those points. <laughs> and uh, it, the sun, it's a summer spell, so pick, pick out some good games if you got money available to you. Anyway, guys, I'll see you guys later.